Please be aware, many of the following scenes may be difficult for some viewers. This is the sudden and heartbreaking story of our decision to send our beautiful little Ava over the Rainbow Bridge. Having lived happily with us two years longer than expected, this incredible little pony overcame so much. Not only living, but thriving for the last years of her life, despite being totally blind and with slowly deteriorating needs. Unfortunately, their time always comes to an end. Through years in their previous lives of neglect, abuse and misery, it catches up on them. And the amazing volunteers who dedicate their lives to love and care for these animals are left to deal with the difficult decisions, the tears, the anger towards these people who caused all this suffering. This video shows the reality of doing the right thing and working with rescue animals. I got the call about Ava losing consciousness in people's arms. Yeah, I was there with her, with her head in my arms, with her trying to fall asleep. Obviously she can't lie down because of her arthritis and everything, so we were trying to get straw in to make a bedding just in case she does fall down because she was going to fall. And we had a lot of people there trying to keep her up because we couldn't let her fall down else we were never going to get her back up again. She was blind, so we tried the usual technique with horses that are struggling to stay on their legs and we put her in a sling. However, very quickly, she showed us that because she couldn't see with the problems with the eyes, she didn't like having the straps there, and so we had to respect that and take away the straps. But again, we had the problem. If she fell, we were never going to get her back up. She was falling asleep or losing consciousness in people's arms at the beginning. This is why I got the call to come down here. It seems like the, she can't put one leg down and now over two days she's lost exhaustion going between the two. She's had around two and a half sachets of butte between then and now. All right, um, I'm not gonna be I'm going to be practical because I know emotional you will be. Um, this is only probably going to get worse. I don't know what's caused it today. But We've had a chat. Yeah. We agree with you. That's why I gave you the message just to say, listen, I just want to let you know I think you're going to be coming to put her down because we've been questioning it anyway. It's why I asked you to look at her. Uh, I wish we'd had more time to improve, but obviously something is escalating for her. Um, I think her knee at the end of the day, she just isn't going to be able to bend it properly. I believe in every chance that we've given her and every choice that we've made, but I feel like everybody has the same feeling today. I've seen Edo, Edo's been here, he's seen her, he said he trusts. Emma has full confidence in everyone and she she wanted me to let everyone know like this is nobody's fault, you know, like this is gonna happen. And she's really happy with the team that we have at the minute and what everybody is doing for the horses and she's sorry that we're dealing with this without her, but also she has full confidence in all of us. I remember the day that Ava arrived. I remember after a four and a half, five hour hike, they came back in the middle of the night and I shone my torch on this beautiful Barbie pony, like a forever foal. But I could already see the, the night blind in her eyes. 
She didn't know what a hay bucket was. I got to teach her what a food bucket was. And I remember the first day she whinnied at me because she knew I was bringing her food. She knew she was cared for. And she taught me so many things about eyes. We thought we were sending her to have her eye removed. And instead she came back and we had to do eye drops with 10 minutes in between, four different sets every couple of hours. So it was round the clock care for her and we're so proud that we managed to keep her eye because it really did improve her quality of life. We want to thank you all for helping us to help Ava. Even by watching our videos, your support allows us to rescue these animals in need. Sadly, days like this cannot be predicted and they can't be prevented. Working with rescue animals, it becomes part of our lives. It never gets any easier. However, we do get the honor of setting these amazing animals free whilst they experience the love they deserve from so many of our amazing volunteers. Making sure up till the very last moment, they know we are there with them. If you want to know more about Ava's story, before when she was with us and her previous life, you can see some of our videos in the links below. Together, we can help more. Run free, Ava, and thank you for your spirit.